The growth for the outgoing financial year, according to official figures, is 3.9%, below the usual 5% and above. And yet it may continue to feel like untrue, because money is scarce from the standpoint of many ordinary Ugandans. The numbers notwithstanding, the real slowdown in activity has been going on for a while, according to the IMF. The last few years, the trend of growth has been slowing. And this is related to issues that have to do with productivity. So productivity in agriculture and in industry, it has been declining. It has to do with education. So we've seen that primary school completion rates have declined. Private investment has also gone down. And it has also been focused in less productive sectors, like real estate. And then we have issues with the business environment. So these are like more entrenched issues that have to be addressed. To single out one factor of private investment, much money has been poured into buildings, which only impacts a few people. And yet these are not even generating income. In the IMF Health Check Economic Report 2017, concerning the issue of the funds being poured into infrastructure using borrowed monies, there is forever a lingering danger of the debt burden becoming unbearable. What we are envisaging is that all these projects deliver growth. So if this happens, then we won't have a problem with the debt ratio. So that, together with additional domestic revenue collection, would make the debt to GDP ratio, because it's a ratio, sustainable. Then, of course, the report also touches the seemingly stained record of Bank of Uganda in the wake of the Crane Bank saga, with everyone wondering where the central bank's eyes were when the saga unfolded. The IMF report recommends more intrusive supervision. I think what we have in mind there is that maybe we should double-check more the data provided by banks. Yeah. It's as simple as that. So when banks submit the reports or their statements, and maybe we need more checks and we need to scrutinize deeper what is really behind these numbers. Government with the intent to raise revenue went to borrow from the Bank of Uganda beyond a case of emergency, as must be, which has the effect of releasing more money into circulation. And then, Bank of Uganda has to spend funds mopping up this excess cash in circulation. The IMF report discourages this government behavior. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.